Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Ma Teng Tiao Only Let's Play. We pick things up for episode 9 from turn 67 in the autumn season of 207. So last episode we ended with the capture of the Armor Craftsman, which is wonderful because it's ready level 3 and we can wait for legendary armors in the future. And now we're going to run back to fight Wu Tugu, who is marching through our land quite injured, so it'd be an easy fight. I don't need to rush anywhere. I don't actually know which way to turn, so we're just going to be at the crossroad. I don't know if I need to go up or go down. This army needs a turn because they did the capturing. We have them defending Bot, which should be enough. He has a few more armies floating around, but they all look quite weak. I don't think we're grabbing anyone here. Magician. Okay, this is a bandit character. Okay, not that interested, but just curious about the magician part. Labor. Nope, we'll pass on those. We got a black stallion, which can go on anyone really because the extra cunning is pretty helpful all around. Let's go silver. And let's see what else we have. We have armies to the north as well. They spawned another yellow turban. We'll probably let them siege again, and then we'll pick it up after the siege. And we'll take, uh, you know, Jingzhou, which is uh, the capital province with uh, Chang'an here. And they need a turn to heal anyways. Two turns. So we'll let them siege, and then we'll go take care of it afterward. We actually have quite a bit of cash saved up, which is nice. Um, do we want to go tall here? Actually, not really. I think in the future what will happen here is that we will take away the administrator and move the capital. I think we mentioned this already. This doesn't have as much potential as capital here. This is going to go all food. Way here. We'll upgrade this. This is fine at level 4. I don't think we need it to be a level 5. Jiamengguan, Sangguan. Not interested in upgrading. Yeah, I think we're good. I would like to upgrade this, but we need an entrepreneur, which means we need a level 4 marketplace. Which will most likely happen here. Alright, once we get this up, like all maxed out, we'll rank this up and then get this ranked up as well. We need reforms as well. And you can see populations bouncing back quite nicely. Remember all the negative population, zero population we had for all the public order farming? Now they're all bouncing back. So not an issue. I think we're good. We can check um, turncoats and diplomacy before we end turn. So not interested in stealing any of these characters. Oh, we might have to do a administrator shuffle because we shuffled one away. Wow, a lot of willing non-aggression takers. I mean, everyone's going to love us because we're fighting like yellow turbans, we're fighting Li Jue, we're fighting Nanman factions. So we should be everyone's best friend. Alright, we're good to go. Let's just continue here. No aggression pack with Golgot, no thanks. Alright, Wutugu barely moved. Ooh, we got a weapon. Heavenly Sword. Neat. Hmm, not so interesting. Another brute. Hua? What commandery has Hua as a name? Oh, Ge? Maybe it's... I can't really see. It's too small. Maybe it's a rebellion faction? He's actually a little bit tempting. Because eventually we can get Mending. Hmm. Maybe we'll grab him. He also has the grudge, so he's not a spy. Traitor will pass. Hermit. No desire for higher office. It's a pretty nice bandit background. A lot of cunning, not a lot of authority. I think he actually will be perfect for us because we just need cunning for the poison arrows. We might grab him as well. We're quite fond of the bandit characters because they tend to have more military focused skills because they don't have the administrative ones. Alright, so let's grab those two. And 
we forgot to move her back, even though we mentioned it right before we end the turn. Alright, she's going back to Wutu. What about our missions? I forgot what they were. Don't be at war with Menghua. Okay. Alliance, that's not happening. School, okay. Wutu didn't move very much. We'll just keep going towards him. He'll go down. It's just a one turn grab. And then we can maybe peace out with Menghua. So the cool thing here is if we can get rebel spawns here, there will be non land rebels. I think we can farm items all over again. Because the first five spawns should have items. Uh, but because of our reform path, I think we have enough to counteract. Yeah. So we're not going to get those rebel spawns unless we, you know, capture the town, throw like a tax collection or something like that. I don't think we're capturing any more. Are we? Are we going to take the rest of Jianyang? I mean, Yunnan has iron. Where's the tea? Where's the closest tea? I want the copper. But that's Wutugu. Maybe we just continue the war. Yeah, why not? We can't afford another army too. Like we recruited those generals, might as well set them up. Maybe we set them up here, have them come down. Like, do we want this group to inherit armies? Because he's also a bandit character. She's also a bandit character. Zhang Xiu is not. Maybe, maybe we swap Zhang Xiu with the strategist. Uh, we'll do the swap to see if they get along. Oh, we didn't get a strategist. We got a... We got a brute and a hermit. They both work here. He already has poison arrows ready. But then this group would not have reach. He doesn't have reach either. I'm thinking of recruiting Ding Yi as well. Is he still here? Because I think I don't expect him to be a spy. And I really want someone to replace Jashu so Jashu can come out. Or maybe him. Just someone useless so they can go do assignments. Uh, I should have paid attention to his skill tree. Is he still on this list? He is. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. Okay, we can't recruit them to replace Jashu. I mean, I think we just give this group the army, because they're already on the field. No need to bypass them. Uh, it does give 8 satisfaction, so if someone needs satisfaction, we can definitely use that. Uh, she's only ranked 2. Maybe I just want these Tiong Marauders instead. He has a little bit of cunning. It's not that bad. Just never gonna have fire arrow. I don't know, he's more of an administrator than a warrior, and the skill tree is a mess. I'm having second thoughts about him. I feel like it's better if we just swap him with the bandit character here, with the poison arrow ready set up.
mobilizer. Uh, we don't have it, and it's not that important. Okay, so technically we have a new army. Not a full army, but it will do. Alright, going for more food here. Alright, we're good. We gotta take a look at the Lee situation to see if we wanna go to war now. They're not sieging. Will we gain any untrustworthiness? Because I'm sure everyone loves this decision. <laughs> Everyone's best friend. Alright, so in this case, I don't really care about him. Get them to siege. I don't need a fast siege. Actually, no. Let's do it fast. We'll delegate, and we'll two armies will bounce around next turn. Want this to be a quick war. Gonna move them just close enough. They just need a little bit of healing. Technically, they have full units. Uh, but we have to wait a turn anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, they can bypass and grab this. Oh, no, they can't. I thought they had enough movement. That would be neat. Alright, just stand there then. Alright, we'll two wolves right there. Alright, we're good to go. Let's continue. Oh. My son. Why? Why are we picking on Liu Biao? No. Oh, we got an armor. Ah, uh, it's not gold. Okay. We want to chase him down, obviously. Now that we're full healed. He's gonna reach this, but he doesn't have siege. They can't do anything. They're moving this way. We're gonna respond to them. I think maybe we just go peace out with them. Trigger. Oh, he's not willing. Then we'll beat them down a little bit more. I think we need to take this first. If we go deep this way, that's not going to net us anything. Like, we're just going to get exposed more and more to the Naman factions. We'll heal here, attack this next turn. Alright, let's finish this. Alright, Chalan is ours. How about the Jade Mai? Also ours. Clean fight too. Clean delegate value there. Alright. Level up on Zhang Lu. But we got nothing for him. Probably want mobility. Or maybe more arrows. But probably mobility. Kiting and also eventually reach. Can't they use a third? Yeah, we can level up the brute. I would like to. Uh, do we have new characters? Uh, no one can sub out Dashu right now. Okay, so technically the war is over. This is really all I want to fight. This is demolished. Fix this. Uh, they don't have a lot of population. We'll wait on that. Peace out. Not willing. But if they do send an army, we'll fight them. Their capital shifted over to Hedong. 
I don't think they have armies on any of these two passes. I don't really want the pass. So I don't think I will attack it. Yeah. Should we? I don't think so. I think it's just a waste of money. Yeah. We do get a new reform. Level 5 silk. Wonderful. Alright, so our economy right now. Silk is giving us 3,093. Right, those three counties are giving us 3,093. So, now imagine them all leveled up. I'm going to rush that so we can start. Entrepreneur. Alright, Wudu needs to... We do need to rank up so we can get. Do we have the reform for it? We do. We do. We do. Okay. So. It's two levels here and then a bunch of builds here. It will take time. Alright, so we're going to get our entrepreneur. I'm so excited. But I guess we'll just have to wait. Alright, army-wise, everyone has moved. Alright, let's take a look at turncoats. Oh, Biltron's faction. Kind of curious to see who they have, actually. Lord Jun. If Lord Jun didn't become heir to Liu Chong. But somehow he's heir to whoever's here. Maybe this is Liu Chong's wife. Zhang Feng's also here. So Zhang Feng married in, or they stole him. This is Zhang Yan's son. Who also has a unique background, I think. Prince of the Black Mountains? I'm gonna see this. Okay, plus one. Fine. We can steal Han Xin. We can steal Zhang Fang right now. Oh, uh, we can't use it though. He doesn't let us. Okay, we'll save up points then. We'll try to steal Lord Jun somehow. It's probably not possible, but maybe, you know, if we try. We get minus 40, but nothing beyond that. And the silver armor probably is going to end up with Mott Dai, to be honest. But I think we're good. Let us continue. Nobel wants a non aggression pack, but he's willing to pay so much for. Interesting. I think this is a better deal. Definitely. Way better. I will too go actually walk back. Yuan Shao vassalized Li Wu. Ooh. Yuan Shao is going to be a big boss in the late game. Want us to capture Chen? No thanks. Yeah, we failed. It's okay. We're going to side with Pang De, who is in our army. All right, we're going to have to spend a turn sieging. Let's get that started. We'll just... Oh! Nanman City's no walls! Wonderful! Perfect for us! Uh, what is the map like, though? I think it's one of those tiered cities, or is it like a flat town? I'm curious. Uh, it's one of those river... Uh, I remember this. I fought this before. I have fire arrows, I believe. Yes. So, it could work out better if I fight this, even though it's delegating low right now. So I feel like we can just delegate and take care of this pretty easily. Because I want to fight the Wutuku fight. This is really nothing here. Alright, we'll fight the Wutuku fight instead. It's going to be execute, I think, for all of them. Unless it's like a burn officer. Oh, 
That doesn't actually help us. Oh, immune to fear and terror. I mean, we got what's important already. All right, sure. I think some of these are just characters who were in our court, like a uh, pool earlier, but we just didn't take them. Now they're back. And we need strategists, but I don't see any here, so. Oh, we're gonna end up not hiring anyone. Still always good to take a look. Oh, there's one strategist. Doesn't have what we need, but definitely not a spy. Alright, how are we building this? Tear down. Is it turn yet? One more turn. Okay. We can peace out with Monghul next turn, I guess. Alright, we'll convert that one. Zion's actually a pretty decent commandery. You can go like all three resources if you want. Ah, uh, but it's always. Right, it's always gonna be a Naman settlement. Never gonna have walls. Not a big issue, you just get less money as well. There's no base peasantry added in. We'll figure it out. Alright, he's running really, really fast, but I'm going to chase him down. And this is the battle that we actually want to fight. Hello, my friend. Zero percent capture chance. I don't like the sound of that, but he's going to get army wipe because it's a second fight. I know, it's weak, but he's strong. So let's fight it. Oh, I thought it was very flat, but it turned out the map is very slanted here. Um, okay. I mean, we have a very easy job here. I mean, we have so many advantages here. And... We don't have fire arrows. I think they're going to march towards us. If not, we'll go surround them. Obviously, we'll have them light the fires. The wooden stake's only going to kill our own troops. He doesn't have any cavalry. Yeah, they're coming towards us. Uh, even though we don't have siege weapons, we outrange them by a lot. We are not expected to beat him in a duel, even at his own health right now. Well, we're not going to duel him. What we're going to do is we're going to run our shot cavalry right through him. Yeah, they have close relatives. So there's heals. We have to kill him first. Just a few fire traps. They seem more interested in Hongdo here. Ah, the arrows are going. And we don't even have to stay here. Keep kiting. Because we'll fire on the move, even behind. They got no chance. Like, they can't chase us. Like, what can they do? Imagine us with fire arrows. Naman City has no walls. Like, we counter them so hard. Your 
comes to arrows. Shield facing the wrong way. Slingers with only 100 range. Don't die, don't die. Don't heal Wutuku. Alright. I think we can charge him now. Pull back. Pull back. We can easily friendly fire. Goodbye, Wutuku. Out of our way. No, I want to kill him. Run him down. There we go. Alright. As you can see, Naman armies are just going to have a hard time against us. And once we get fire arrows, an even harder time. Uh, just execute. No items. He has resiliency. He'll be back. They're chasing. They're captured. I don't need to worry about them. Smilon has this covered. Do we want to peace out? He's not willing, that's the problem. It's point four. it's close. Maybe a little bit more beatdown next turn. Alright, Jinchong is good. Oh, we actually need this to go tall. Because Wudu's variation is going to go beyond. Huh. Yeah. I'll explain. So we'll, we'll upgrade this. So the problem we're going to be running into is the marketplace in Wudu, once we have it at this tier, we want it at this tier. And if you can see, Entrepreneur goes away. So we need something here. And the issue is you can't build the silk trade post in a city with harbor. So a lot of these harbor commanderies, you know, it's going to make less sense for us to make them go tall. But this one has a ministry right now and it's missing a potential, you know, application of the marketplace so if we look at the building here they have a market wharf and that doesn't include the silk version which is a land trade so here we can have this keep as you know uh entrepreneur generating structure for us so that's going to be the plan i guess we do go tall here then all right i think we're not done because of the war against Li Jue. Doesn't want to peace out. I don't want his gates. I don't know what's going to have to happen. I guess we just stay at the war and make everyone else like us more. We got siege here. Which is just silly. Like, who do they think they are? Alright, so I think we just hold this. Maybe Yellow Turbans will steal some of these. I don't really care. I don't want them. This, mm, maybe we should take Tong Pass and then this from Cao Cao somehow. Because this opens up trade to the rest of the factions through the Yellow River. Because the impassable land's right here. But I don't really think we want to go to war with them right now. 
But because we're so close to Cao Cao, I wonder if we can see his characters. We're still thinking about who Lady Dan cheated on. Nope, we don't know anyone. Oh well. Our spy has a few points. Maybe we can discredit faction and get Zhang Fang to leave. Someone who's willing. No one. Yeah, but this means we can only reduce them by 30. We can make him leave, but then like we can't apply this on anyone, so we can't lower it anymore. Makes her super useless in my opinion. Hmm. He's on the map. We should be able to see her. We can take her back, let her be a Simon character, free up Jasu to take an item, because she can't steal anyone. There we go. Oh, trade. Oh. Shangzi is this useful? 700 plus? He probably has cash. I don't think he makes income because we, we left him with pretty much nothing. Okay, yeah. Perfect. Okay, we could potentially end up vassalizing a lot of factions. Because everyone loves us due to the, the wars against these Naman factions. I think we'll keep it up then and lead to it. Everyone hates these factions. Alright, then who cares about the missions? No peace. Um, what to do with these two armies is a different question. Yeah, they're really going to waste. Gongsun doesn't claim this, so I guess that's why we see him. I could send one down south, keep Ma Chao near this region, have them come over here and help. I think that's that's fine. All right, let's continue. Gong Sun Zhang wants to pay us for non-aggression. I'm actually down for payments, but maybe we can get more per turn because I'm pretty sure he's pretty loaded. I think as long as it's over 80, we're making a better deal. Yeah, it's close. It's pretty much the same thing. Okay, that's fine. Oh, Li Bu and Sun Ce going to war. Sima Yi arrives. Wonder whose faction he will go to. Probably Cao Cao's, but never know. Oh, we can't catch him? Well, I'm not interested in chasing. We're probably gonna hop over here to grab these. Oh, Liu gonna grab that one. It's okay. He has most of Badong already. We don't need it. We'll take Fu Lin. We'll still chase. We have an uh, army coming down. Eventually, he will get here. Oh, actually, pretty quick. Cavalry armies are fast. All right, Liju's counterattack is coming. That's why we kept them around. She's still not rank three yet. So no army for her. Did I ambush outside? Probably. Hmm. Yeah, I think we can handle it with one army. It's not that big of a deal. We want to take, I guess, that next. Jiangyang's Lumberyard. We'll rest here for the turn. We're going to pop the school real quick for the mission and then demolish it. Oh, 
aborted. What about our new ones? There we go. Grand Director, easy. Chancellor, easy. Temple, okay. Um. John Allen's gonna eventually trigger all three. On cooldown, but we'll, we'll move him again. Is he full healed? Alright, that'll finish the mission. It's not back yet. We'll just await their arrival. They're still replenishing. It's gonna be about two turns. Can we beat them? This is a little bit of a problem. We'll have Dong Zhuo's widow. Ma Dai and the Brute. We'll send some help. We have the income for it. Cause that's not really a full stack. None of them fire arrows. But I think we just want more arrows. Okay. Hop into the city. Let's continue. Tao Tao inviting us into their coalition or alliance. Divine threads. Who's in this? It will be. Who's the red flag? Don't tell me it's Yuan Shu or something like that. It's Yuan Shu, Duchy of Zhong. Wow, Yuan Shu is ranking up fast. I mean. We can. I prefer to go solo. But we definitely can. Let's try it. I don't think I've ever been in an alliance. Let's do it. Alright. So... Through military alliance, we have control of Trent. That's an interesting way to do that. I'll look at these soon. I just want to look at the map now, because now we see everything. Well, because of the alliance. Tal Tal's here. Liu Bao is huge. Okay, Yuan Shu is huge. Sun Ce is very weak. Hopefully he gets wiped. So we, we got the good partnership here. Because I'm pretty sure Huangzu is also Liu Bao's vassal. Liu Bao is huge. Okay. And if we look at diplomacy, yep, yeah, his vassal situation. These are our vassals. We control like two, a half the map. Maybe, maybe a little bit more than a third. Yeah, a little bit more than a third. Maybe 40% of the map. Uh, Li Jue is on his last leg. I'm going to just keep fighting the southern factions. Because we're trading with Zhangzi, we're trading with our own vassals. I'll create more vassals later on, and we'll keep them as friends, so we're we're good. 
before we look at these, I'm gonna remember to do this, finish another mission, and now we should know Tall Tall's faction. So, who did Lady Ben cheat on? Tall Tall Lady Ben. We're looking for. Oh, no one. Jin's not here. Zhang Quan? I thought he was like the murderer who got outed by Xun Yu when Xun Yu was like 12. I forgot that story. There's a search button. Nobody has this as their last name. I'm so confused how how that happened with the kid. Did he die? Sun Ren's of age. Sun Ce, can we have a chat? Sun Ce. Very pleased to meet you. We don't have a single boy, but I'm willing to divorce for her. Mother of four, gonna get abandoned. <laughs> um, let's see. We. We have a lot of family members. She's gonna come of age soon. Six thirty turns. I think he's she's okay, they're all pretty old actually. If we divorce, we can try to look for Sun Yen's family. Or Sun Tuck's family. She's she oh she's married. Never mind. Never mind. Not divorcing. Never thought about that. I mean, he's raising him. Yuan Yao is still single. Okay. Alright, so diplomatically, the map's taking a big change. We finished all the missions. We have level ups. Oh, she's gonna complain more. I mean, we wanna go here. Go this way. All right, armies first. Actually, we have so many characters. Items. I think it starts with him. Traits. Oh. Oh. Okay, we don't really have to think about them then. I don't think there's a strategist either. Oh, Zhang. Not the right side. Our spy is back, so Jasu can come out. We can swap him. And because we see. Oh, Lu Ji. This is Lu Bu's daughter. She's actually pretty good. She married into Liu Bao's family? Well, she's gonna be ours now. Lady Feng. We can have her assassinate Yuan Shu if we want. How did he get her? Huh. He just has her. Wei Yan? Uh, Zhuge Liang is also in the game. Zhao Yun. He's stacked. Zhang Yan. 
Super stacked. Plus three points. I would love to vassalize him. Can you imagine picking up all these characters? We'll pick up everyone in the army. So we'll pick up Zhuge Liang, we'll pick up Wei Yan, we'll pick up Zhang Fei, Lady Mi, Guan Yu. But we won't be able to pick up Zhao Yun. We'll also pick up Liu Bei because he's the leader. We won't pick up Zhang Yan, but that's still a great haul. She is part of the family, so we can keep improving relations. To try to get the vassalization. Build up our army. Try to help that as well. Like it's possible, you know? What if we just give him a bunch of items that we're like not gonna use? And then give him food, give him money. We just vassalize him right here. Hold on. The R money is only worth 6.8 to him. But if we pay him per turn money, he's in trouble because it'll get cancelled because. Once we annex him, we don't have to pay him. Like, I can promise everything. That's 15. I don't even have to be that ridiculous. Okay. And then the rest offer one food. Wow, this is... This is a... This is a coup here. So we gotta lower our army count because we don't want to be left out of absorbing all those generals. Alright, we vassalize a little bit. How many army count do we have? How many armies does he have? Okay, we only have three empty ones. That's too few. Because, let's see, Zhuge Liang is in one. Zhang Fei is in one. Actually, we can we can just go to diplomacy and check how many he has. I think there's a way to look at it. No, there's not. Um, but in the spy menu, I think there is. He has six armies. We have to disband three. Okay. I'll do it. Um, I don't want to pay the redeployment cost. It costed us nothing to recruit these. I mean, one turn of upkeep, no big deal. And they didn't get any level up either because we didn't have any conscription buildings. So let's recall. We'll keep them here. You guys don't need to move anymore. Gonna delete these as well. Same reason we don't want to pay any of the upkeep. Uh, redeployment costs. Because even though the recruitment cost is reduced by 120% or whatever, the redeployment cost is not. So I don't want to pay for them again. Or pay for them for the first time. Because it didn't cost anything to get them. And then we need to reduce one more army. So maybe they can finish them off and then we'll summon them back. Yeah, perfect. I'll delegate this. I wonder if we can rank up to um, Duke once we get the annex because we'll get all his buildings. And if we become Duke, Liu Bei can maybe be our Prime Minister, his high authority, or Lady Mi, because Lady Mi has really uh, extra 10 points of satisfaction, also high authority. And then I just can't wait till 
Ma Tung dies of old age, and then we have Ma Chao's faction plus, you know, a court of really good high authority characters to take care of our satisfaction issue. Alright, alright. Um, let's see. We, we have six empty army slots. I'm just gonna do a double count to make sure we are good here. There's one army, Liu Bei, Guan Yu's army. Two armies, Zhang Fei's army, Zhuge Liang's army, three army. Four army right here. Don't really care. Um, I don't see where the other two are. But apparently there's two more. But I feel like we are prepared. Like he, There might be some armies here. We'll pick up one, two. We can probably pick up the tr this through a trade afterward. I think we're ready. Let's do it. We'll lose a lot of trustworthiness. Our vassals will hate us, but this has to be done. Annex. So all right, so we got our Duke rank. That's enough prestige point. Kind of expected that. The treacherous kind of sucks, but I'm not going to cry about it. Because let's see if we pick up max army size. We should have got a couple more. Nine. Okay, perfect. So Wen Yu check. Lady Mi check. Wei Yan check. Zhang Fei check. Zhuge Liang check. And Liu Bei should be automatically included in the annex. And let's see if we got Zhao Yun by any chance. Nope, just Liu Bei. So those who are not in armies, we don't get. So that includes uh, Zhang Yan and Zhao Yun. A little unfortunate, but look at the haul we got. I can't believe this. Okay, it's going to take us forever to sort out all these characters. So I think this will just be a good ending point for us. Uh, we'll come back next episode to sort out this entire haul. Uh, not only of generals, but... You know, items, armies, cities need to be shuffled. Zhuge Liang needs to find a new home in the Qiang army. And we're gonna go send Zhuge Liang to chase Meng Huo. Oh, that's exciting too. And uh, we got Wei Yan, one of the new characters added in. I haven't been able to use him yet, so that's a great news. She might become our next Prime Minister. For the plus 10 point satisfaction to all characters, high authorities, all four useful skills picked up. And also, plus two public order. That helps a little. Or we can throw Liu Bei in there. I think Liu Bei is also very good. And then hopefully no one will be angry at us. We have to make sure everyone's happy. Guan Yu is here. God of War. Terrible skill tree choice, but we'll live with it. Alright. Excited. That was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And see you guys next time. Bye!